Tim with Earthworks. Today we're sealing at the Manning residence. We're we'll cleaning first and then uh, checking for any stains that might be in the pavers, such as rust stains, uh, vegetation stains, stuff like that. Kind of do a little prep. Most of the time I do it with a pressure washer. That way I don't have any spots just sitting there waiting to be re soaked. But I'm using a diluted um, half and half muriatic acid, which takes rust right out. Some of the patios we come across are pretty dirty, let's put it that way. A lot of them have mildew and mold, um, which all comes out, of course, and after the sealant goes down, it prevents it, but it does not eliminate the possibility of it coming back. The sealant is basically protecting the paver and stops, uh, helps stop ants and plants, but it doesn't prevent them unless it's been polymeric sanded. This particular patio is just regular sweep sand, which we'll probably have to go back over in any light spots, fill in the sand. This usually has to happen before the sealant goes down. At least that's the way the homeowner likes it, because otherwise it's just sitting on the surface and it could get washed away from the next rain or if they decide to wash off their patio. The reason we seal is to protect the paver from stains such as rust stains, vegetation stains, plus it also uh, enhances the color of the paver as well. We got a few lines here, some spots. Uh, over in this area here, there's plenty more that I can show you. Like this spot, you'll see. I've got my brush, my 50-50 mix. I just take and dip the brush in there a little bit, dab it on there. You can see it starts to smoke and foam a little bit. Give it a little scrubbing here and there. You can see it's not exactly doing what I want it to because I want this to be almost instant. So I do just a little splash on it. That's straight muriatic acid. Generally lifts that stain right out. A little agitation just to make sure. Voila. And since we're next to a concrete walkway, and I really don't want to get any on the concrete walkway, I'm going to start up here and then work my way to it. And if I get a little on there, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to leave a shiny spot. And what we want to do is just come to the edge. And the sealant we use is self-leveling. So if it looks like I'm going a bit heavy on there, I am. And as far as pulling up goes, it doesn't matter. See, I got a little overspray right there or runoff. We use a liberal amount on there, that way they're good and saturated. Some people like us to do a second coat. Little leaves blow in here and there, you gotta keep an eye on that. Windy days are not a sealant man's best friend. And you see how evenly this was. I wanna make sure that there's no streaks in it anywhere. Just give it about 10-15 minutes and the milkiness will have disappeared and it will be quite tacky for about two to three hours. The hotter the day the faster it dries so sometimes you really got to have your roller skates on and make sure you're not missing anything. But uh, in the fall you take your time a little bit better it, it absorbs slower which is actually better for the pavers. It's kind of tricky sometimes because some of the times it uh, appears like you missed a spot but it's like you said it seeps in. Yeah some are more porous than others exactly. like that one little area you said just go ahead and blast it again okay. I think that's it. Yep and remember not to step on your wet pavers. 
because you might have dirt or a rock or leaves or whatever on the soles of your shoes or boots and it will transfer to the pavers and if it stays there it's there go ahead and we pressure washed everything then we came back and rinsed it off so it was all nice and clean go over it a couple of times make sure there's no residue left on the tops of the pavers then we make sure everything's nice and dry. If it uh, calls for re-sanding, we go ahead and do that, which of course adds more time to the day, um, but it generally gives it a finished look. And then after the sand is applied, make sure it's nice and uh, smooth, clean, no buildup anywhere, because the last thing you want is to be sealing a pile of sand, which you'll have to scrape off later, and then you have a dull spot on your pavers. But as you can see behind me, we have re-sanded this particular walkway and sealed it and this is pretty much the finished product. It is still in the drying stage right now. Um, it started out, as you notice, probably milky white and dries clear. And this is a semi-gloss finish. It's still going to dry some more and have less of a sheen to it as you can see right now. But this is the way the colors of the pavers will stay depending on traffic and weather for up to five years. And you can definitely see that it makes the colors of the pavers stand out more predominantly than it would if unsealed. The sealant comes in a matte finish or a semi-gloss finish. It's your choice. The matte finish will still give you that wet look but without any shine to it. And if you like the wet look on your pavers, say like just after it rained, then that's exactly what it's going to look like after it's sealed. Hope you got a little insight as to the process of cleaning and sealing the pavers. Again, I'm Tim with Earthworks. Have a nice day.